Hello, I'm Connie Vanderman Jeffrey, and this is a special report on the 2018 Annual Council of the General Conference from the Pacific Union Conference. In October of each year, the leadership of the Seventh-day Adventist Church comes together for what is called Annual Council, a chance to accept reports from the officers and the various departments of the church, discuss new strategies, and conduct the business of the church. This year, the meeting was held in Battle Creek, Michigan, and ended on Wednesday afternoon. As the president of one of the union conferences that make up our church globally, Elder Ricardo Graham attends this meeting each year and represents the members of the Pacific Union at the meeting. Over the past year, there has been an ongoing discussion about organizations within the church who don't comply with all the policies of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The Pacific Union has been drawn into this discussion because of our decision to treat women and men equally in terms of ordination and job opportunity, a practice that we may choose to validate as the local governing organization for the states of Arizona, California, Hawaii, Nevada, and Utah, and because of our fundamental belief number 14, unity in the body of Christ, which includes the phrase, differences between high and low, rich and poor, Male and female must not be divisive among us. We are all equal in Christ. Our perceived non-compliance on this matter has become of concern to Elder Ted Wilson and the General Conference. On Sunday, they brought to the voting body a document called Regard for and Practice of General Conference Session and General Conference Executive Committee Actions. This is a controversial and potentially divisive document, and all of Sunday afternoon was spent discussing it. Elder Graham was one of many who spoke against the document in his allotted time of two minutes to speak about it. All right, thank you. Uh, mic number two, Ricardo Graham. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I intend to vote against the adoption of this policy, and I would encourage all others here to do the same for the following reasons. Number one, there is currently a policy, B95, that deals with noncompliance that has not been enacted. Number two, there is not in the document presented before us a process to give oversight to the General Conference and ADCOM itself. ADCOM is not a representative body. It is an in-house committee, and I do not believe that it speaks for the World Church. Three, this process represents the consolidation of power and authority into the hands of a few without accountability to the members of the Executive Committee. If the document passes, number four, it empowers and provides a platform for individuals who have any issues with the church to bring accusations against leadership at any level. Finally, Mr. Chairman, my fifth point is that if this is actually placed into action, no one is safe. If they come for me today, they will come for you tomorrow. Finally, I would quote from Desire of Ages, page 22, the exercise of force is contrary to the principle of God's government. He desires only the service of love, and love cannot be commanded. It cannot be won by force or authority. Only by love is love awakened. Thank you. And by the way, Mr. Chairman, I really admire your beard. Well, I'm only kind of keeping up with you, Ricardo. You may have caught a glimpse of Elder Dan Jackson, president of the North American Division, in line to speak after Ricardo Graham. He urged a no vote and many of the leaders of the church from Europe and North America and some from the General Conference spoke against the document and also called for a no vote. Inexplicably, delegates from Asia, Australia, India, and South America were entirely silent and did not contribute to the discussion. Well, there were some from Africa and Latin America who spoke advocating a yes vote. When the vote was taken, the document was approved 185 to 124 with two abstentions. The North American Division issued a statement following the vote which stated in part, We believe that this voted document, which outlines a system of governance to address church entities perceived not in compliance with church policy, does not follow the biblical values proclaimed by the Protestant reformers and the founders of the Adventist Church. This document, as voted, has made centralized power possible and seeks to create a hierarchical system of governance. There has been quite a bit of discussion among our members about the potential impact of this vote and the long-term impact of this new process. While Elder Graham is now traveling home to the Pacific Union, we spoke with Ted Benson about the immediate impact on our churches, schools, and workers. I wholeheartedly oppose the process that has been voted. We will be actively monitoring how the process is implemented 
and anticipate that any and all activity will be through our Union Executive Committee. Our financial functions are being carefully monitored and protected, and we will continue to be good stewards of the resources that our members contribute to the mission, especially Tithe. The policies that protect our employees from false accusations and harassment will be strictly observed. Brad Newton, who is the Executive Secretary of the Union and Vice Chair of the Executive Committee, was also able to address some of our concerns. The way that we are organized as a Seventh-day Adventist Church is that leadership cannot be changed by any group other than the group that elected them. So the compliance structure that we've been hearing about actually relates only to how that person, and in our case, particularly our union president, relates to the general conference, particularly the general conference committee. The voice and vote or removal from voting and participating with the general conference committee or other structures, that can all be done if they choose. But that person, our union president, cannot be removed by a person from office just because they want to do it. So unfortunately what can happen is is that this conversation can begin to erode support until there's a change made. Uh, this approach of tearing down an organization externally to impact change ultimately is counterproductive because you destroy what you claim that you want to strengthen. I think the best thing we can all do right now is to have faith in God's guidance and protection. To live honestly, to be fully committed to our faith, to conscientiously object to those things that go against what we believe and know to be true. Like my colleagues, I deeply oppose the process that has been voted. But I full-heartedly support the mission of the church in every way that we can. I love the words, I will be true. All of us, every member can demonstrate that we care deeply about the integrity and the moral certainty of a church that reflects those words, I will be true to our very highest values and beliefs. On Wednesday, October 17, 2018, the Pacific Union Conference issued a short and powerful statement. The mission of the church is universal, while the ministry of the church is local. We are resolved in our continued commitment to ordain women and men equally. We remain stalwart in support of our churches, schools, conferences, and all of our workers. The Pacific Union Conference affirms and renews our devotion to the unique ministry which Christ has given us. Ellen White wrote, The church may pass resolution upon resolution to put down all disagreements of opinions, but we cannot force the mind and will, and thus root out disagreement. These resolutions may conceal the discord, but they cannot quench it, and establish perfect agreement. Nothing can perfect unity in the church but the spirit of Christ-like forbearance. Satan can sow discord. Christ alone can harmonize the disagreeing elements. And the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Rome, Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. May each of us seek God's guidance and grace, and may we see a quick end to those things that divide us. For the Pacific Union Conference, I'm Connie Jeffrey.